Welcome to News Now from the Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Mike Crowley, and we are joined today by Lisa Gibilario, once again, from the Wayside Youth and Family Support Network. And she's also coordinator of the Belmont Wellness Coalition. This week, we're talking about COVID updates and flu shots. So Lisa, getting started with COVID, what's the news and how are things looking? Thanks, Mike. So overall, the news is good. COVID cases are dropping in Massachusetts, as well as most states across the country. Um, the ferocity that we've been dealing with with Delta is starting to wane for sure. Um, other good news, booster shots are now widely available for many adults and a vaccine for kids um, ages five through about 11 is on its way. So Lisa, let me ask you more about that vaccine for the kids. Has it, has it been fully approved? It is getting there today. The FDA has approved it and the CDC is meeting just today, Mike, and hopefully they will be approving it as well. And once the CDC does their approval process, uh, the rollout for this vaccine will begin. And let me ask you about the vaccine's effectiveness. What do we know? Well, according to the trial, which um, tested the vaccine in about 3,000 kids, it is 90% effective. So that's excellent. That's a great efficacy rate. Should parents have any safety concerns? Not for most kids, Mike. Um, the, the typical side effects from this vaccine mirror those of adults. So some kids got tired, uh, a slight fever, certainly a sore arm, but those very serious side effects that we worry about were really negligible. Not many kids experienced those at all. Let me ask you, Lisa, about the kids aged four and under. Is there any vaccine on the horizon for them? There is, Mike. The, uh, that age group, ages about two to four, is currently being uh, studied. And I have read that um, uh, the approval process for that age group should be um, underway in the next few months. All right, Lisa, let me ask you about COVID booster shots. What do we need to know? So booster shots are widely available right now for adults. Um, it sort of depends, Mike, on which vaccine you originally received. So for those who received Moderna or Pfizer, you have to have had your last shot six months ago. And if you received the J&J, &J, the Johnson & Johnson, you can schedule your booster shot if you received that vaccine two months ago. Um, okay. They do say that mix and matching of the vaccine is okay, especially for those who received the J&J. &J. They're actually recommending that their booster be Moderna or Pfizer. Can any adult get a booster, Lisa? So technically, no, Mike. Um, there are three requirements. First of all, they would like those getting them to be over 65. You do qualify if you are under 65 and are immunocompromised, or if you are under 65 and are a frontline worker. However, the caveat seems to be that these booster shots are so widely available that they are not strictly enforcing those three requirements I just listed. Okay. So for example, I went on the CVS website just to see if I could obtain a booster shot and it was no problem. So there are requirements, but they don't appear to be strictly enforcing those. Um, in our last minute, Lisa, tell us why it's important to get a flu shot. Well, getting a flu shot is the single most powerful action you can take to actually prevent getting the flu. Um, flu shots protect you, they protect the people around you, and you don't want to get the flu while hospitals and, and healthcare workers are still dealing with COVID. Um, you actually can get the flu shot at the same time as your COVID booster. And flu shots are just widely recommended for all of us between the ages you know, above six months and all the way up. So it's a good idea just to protect yourself from getting the flu. All right, thank you, Lisa. And I'll just remind our viewers to be sure to also watch our weekly COVID updates with Lin Lindsay Sharp.